Hey there, I'm Victor Quintana. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I create videos about photography, videography, and the business of being a creator, along with gear reviews and where I showcase some of my client work. If you've been following for a while, welcome back, and I hope you guys all enjoy this new video. Let's jump into it. Morning, Victor. <laughs> Alright guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about the new GVM Pro SD300 RGB light. Now let me start this off by saying that GVM actually is not paying me for this video whatsoever. They sent me the video in exchange for me testing it out and writing a review script for this video. They have no power over my opinion whatsoever. That being said, this light is actually pretty awesome, guys. Now in the past, I've worked with several different brand lights and have honestly been looking for something to give me a little bit more creative freedom. And I think this GVM light actually solves my issues. So the first thing that I noticed about this light was the fact that they designed it with the same Bowens mount as the rest of my other lights. So I actually don't have to invest in any sort of like new accessories whatsoever because they all have the same Bowens mount. So the accessories such as the the light dome, the lantern, a snoot, and the barn doors to name a few. So you can see right off the bat, I'm really enjoying this light because I don't have to invest in any sort of other equipment. Thank you for that GVM. That was a good job. The second feature of this light that I really enjoyed was the actual connectivity of Bluetooth. So I can actually control the light all from my phone. And just to show you a quick example, so this light is just to the left of me off screen. I'm just gonna throw it on real quick. Boom, now we got the GVM light on. And now the Bluetooth connectivity for most things like connecting to my camera has always been a little iffy for me. I've always been skeptical about using it just because it usually loses connection pretty quickly and like it just doesn't stay connected. It's always a whole process to get it back on going. With the GVM light on the other hand though, this thing's badass. When you open up the app, you hit just like a refresh button and it automatically connects like instantaneously. And honestly, I have all the power over it. So there it's off again, turning it on and I can switch it all different colors just from my fingertips. So that's actually a really cool feature that I like as well. On top of that though, the feature that it has where you can actually choose the different gel colors, which is what I'm playing with right now is honestly, low-key a really cool feature because in the past i've always had to tape a piece of like tinted gel onto my lights in order to get a certain look and a certain color for the light and trust me i've been in situations where i've actually burned holes through the gels because i've taped them too close to the light or left them on the, there too long and whatnot and so having the gvm light be able to just instantaneously change through different colors just from a tap on my phone is honestly it's the coolest little feature that's one less piece of gear that i have to remember to take with me on set and it's usually something that i would easily forget because the gels i have in a separate little packet and i've been known to forget those things before so having this automatically just as an effect that the light already has within it is i think super super cool and imagine you're on set or in a production studio shooting some content and having to get up from behind the camera every time to adjust the light, maybe change the color. Now with the GVM light, I don't ever have to leave from behind the camera. I can just simply go on the app and change the color according to what I'm looking for. So it makes the process a whole lot more streamlined. Now, if you're still on the fence about this light and you're kind of hoping that it has a couple more features, I got you. So it actually comes pre-programmed with 16 different lighting effects. To name a few, they have lightning effect, candle light, paparazzi mode, and don't look directly into the light when you have it on this mode, just trust me, I'm trying to save your eyeballs where I was not able to save mine. So, heed the warning. Cop car, fireworks. Now the really cool thing about these effects too is the fact that you can actually change the strength on the effect. So let's try ambulance. We're going to start it off at the rate of three. So that you're seeing at a rate of three. And if we bump it up to 10, 
you see the intensity of the lights kind of flickering a lot faster. I think that's super cool. I definitely need to spend more time testing all these lights out because they're honestly super cool. Now you're probably saying to yourself, yeah, those 16 light effects are cool and whatnot. They probably have a specific place and purpose to use them, but does the light have any practical real life lighting sources? Well, I'm glad you asked because the answer is yes. It actually comes pre-programmed with 12 different practical lighting scenarios. To name a few, they have halogen, studio lamps, daylight, overcast, and my ultimate favorite, the sunrise and sunset setting. And I actually just got to use that setting uh, very recently on this shoot and check out some of these photos and video footage from the shoot. I placed the light just outside the window of this room and blasted it as high as I could on the C-stand and then directed it at an angle as if to mimic what the sun would be doing as it was going down. And I mean, look at this footage, the photos, it really looks like we're getting some beautiful sunset light coming through the window and just like, mwah, chef's kiss really. Honestly, it was some of my favorite images from that shoot and I can't wait to keep using this light because yes, there was pretty light outside and it was bringing in some of that golden hour light, but because of the way the house was angled, you weren't really able to capture the full sunset lighting. So being able to mimic that same lighting with this light was just like the best thing ever, honestly. I mean, these, like I said, these are some of my favorite images that I've taken in a while. Now in the package of the SD300, it actually comes with an optical lens, which is super handy when you wanna get some nice even light without any impurities, especially for product uh, photography and videography, such as some of these photos, you know, you want that really nice, clean, even kind of light, which you can see in some of these video clips of products that I recently shot. Now, I've mentioned a couple of my favorite features. I wanna take you to the back of the light so you can see all the different uh, function buttons and the connectivity that the light actually has. So starting off, we have the display screen, a mode button, a menu button, return button, a cooling button. Thankfully, I have not had to use that yet. A second knob that controls the parameter adjustments. While the first knob is used to adjust brightness, it is also used as a selection knob and to determine the power of the light. This is the DMX input and output connector, not to be confused with the late great DMX. This is your power input. And finally, we have the power on and off button. So yeah, this light basically gives you everything that you need. Oh, and did I mention how light the actual unit is? They constructed the light out of this aluminum alloy and the actual light comes in weighing in at only about 2.7 kilograms, which is huge, especially if you're on set having to move the light all day back and forth it is not going to break your back, which we all love. We all want a healthy back, so this is really good. So if you're in the market for a new light, the GVM Pro SD300C RGB LED monolight isn't just another piece of equipment in your lighting arsenal. It's a testament to innovation and versatility in modern filmmaking and photography. From its seamless integration with existing accessories and effortless Bluetooth connectivity to the vast spectrum of colors and dynamic effects at your fingertips, this light offers an unparalleled level of control and creativity. As we close out today's video, I just want to give a huge thank you to you guys for spending some of your day with me. I hope you enjoyed this review video. If you have any feedback or any ideas for any future videos that my team and I should do, please leave them in, down in the comments below and we'll make sure to address them accordingly. And until next time, I hope that this video was helpful and stay creating my friends. We'll see you on the next one.